My name's Darren Dory. Um, in September I'll be 43. I live in Warrnambool, which is in the southwest corner of Victoria. It's approximately 300 kilometres or three hours from Melbourne. A uh, little seaside town that uh, is a, a nice little friendly community. I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes when I was 27. So I was um, told to change diet and I was put on some tablets. But as time went by and I didn't feel any different, I guess I got more and more slack with it. And probably for the next 10 years, I, I guess I lost focus on control of the diabetes. At the time I was told, you know, look, you have to have your eyes checked. You think, OK, what's well, pretty serious. You know, drive a truck for a living, so I've got to keep on top of the eyes. After a couple of years of going, yep, yeah, no, your eyes are fine, your eyes are fine, you stop worrying about it. As was around about 2001, I was starting to struggle a little bit with some, seeing some road signs. So I went into the optometrist to get some glasses. She had a look at my eyes and she said, look, you've got a massive bleed in the eye. She said, you need laser surgery and you need it now. I walked out of the ophthalmologist's rooms after having something like three, four hundred shots of laser in the eye. And I ended up having a vitrectomy. Probably 18 months later, developed a cataract, which I had out in about 2006 in the left eye. And that brought back vision beautifully. It was like, wow, whole new world, this is all good. 2007, I'd actually gone back to truck driving. And I guess going back into trucks was, for the diabetes, was one of the worst things I did. I did a lot of travel where you'd take off for a few day trip and you'd forget to take your medications with you. I noticed it was getting harder to read the paperwork and the headlights of cars started to become more and more glary, that the lights would flare. And I thought, nah, I better go back to the ophthalmologist. He looked at me, I was in conversation, he said, oh, what are you doing for a living now? Are you still in sales? I said, no, I'm a truck driver. And he just sat there and said, not anymore, you're not. You hand in your licence tomorrow. I then had to go home to my wife and four kids and say, ah, I don't have a job. And it looks like I might be going blind. The same day, our uh, landlord happened to call over just to mention the fact that he'd put the house on the market and we were going to have to move. Um, so, yeah, life just crumbled.